Hello chess lovers, Solon here and in today's video we are going to test Lila Chess Zero and Stockfish with an interesting looking chess problem which was composed by German chess composer Theodor Ziers. This was first published in 1935 and the task is to announce mate in 9 moves. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. Meanwhile on our screen we can see that both engines are struggling and despite the fact that Stockfish reaches an enormous speed, it can't figure out the solution. 300, almost 360,000 speed is on the board, on the screen, but yeah, already it passed 360,000 KN speed, but still we don't have mate in 9 moves. In Lila Chess Zero's case, the results are even worse. Uh, and that's because of the strange looking king maneuver, which very strangely Stockfish can't see. Let's see how it goes. First, white is playing king b1, uh, as Stockfish suggests. And now let's see when finally Stockfish will see that mate in 9 moves. Uh, e takes d5. Why should we accept the knight sacrifice, guys? Here we go. This time we should play king c1. Again, king c1 is something which we can't see both in Stockfish and Lila Chazero's case. Yeah, let me reveal the secret. We should bring white king on h1 square and only then we can announce a check made bishop c5 and then bishop e7. Let's make king e1 and let's see, will Stockfish see uh, the rest? No, still we don't have a result. After knight uh, b4 we don't see king d1. Yeah, king d1 suddenly popped up, yeah, finally it popped up, but again, and then again Stockfish is suggesting to win black knight. Yeah, this is very strange, again, at this point, again, Stockfish is suggesting e takes d5. This is very strange, guys. And I, and I have no idea how this happens and why Stockfish can't see the forced mating line. Let's not go for e takes d5, let's play king e1. Yeah, finally at this point Stockfish sees uh, mate, forced mate in 6 moves. Finally, finally forced mate is on the board. Yeah, first we are bringing white king on h1. And only then, after knight d5, we can uh, move our bishop, can put on c5, because already in this case, black has no more checks or no more uh, defensive resources. Yeah, and now whatever you play, then bishop e7 checkmate will follow. A very interesting chess problem, right, guys? You're bringing your king on h1, and only then you are announcing a checkmate, so yeah, we have checkmate in 9 moves. In case you are wondering, why not, for example, at this point, for example, bishop c5, then uh, knight uh, c3 can follow, and in this case, yes, uh, black is managing to prolong his resistance, you can't accept the knight sacrifice because we have a stalemate on the board, uh, and all the time again, yes, that uh, you should take into consideration that uh, defensive resources uh, for black. Again, you can't play bishop c5 because uh, a check from c3 or e3 can follow. Yeah, e3 is better. And yeah, this is how the solution goes. First bring your king on h1 and only then announce a checkmate. Again, we can't go for bishop c5. The interesting thing is that uh, you can't even play, for example, uh, king e2, you know. Uh, again, uh, black can uh, fight back, for example, knight f4 and then knight g6. So this is how the solution goes, dear chess lovers. First you are bringing the king on h1 and then you are announcing a checkmate and strangely Stockfish failed to see this uh, forced mating line. Yeah, only when the king was already on d1, right? It managed to see mate in 6. Uh, this was very strange and 
If you know why this happens, an explanation for this will be glad to read in the comment section. Feel free to share this video with your friends as well. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.